Yo, when I look back at the last 35 to 40 years of life, we just have so many shared experiences. Just to name a few. Crash, Deep Kloof, Sacred Heart College, to uh, Vitz, to that moment when those bounces in Rosebank made us realize that it was still very early in post-1994, to the crossing over to the new millennium, which is now 21 years old, to the worm dance that you did at my wedding, which saw your keys and your coins go flying all over the room, to Cape Town, to your offices, and all these memories, I just see your face. And not just your face, all the faces of the people that you always manage to stick together. One thing about you is you were a connector. Over and above your face, I hear your voice, that distinctive Moi voice. Our friendship was very conversation based. So all the time we'd always be chatting. I knew if I was calling you or if you were gonna call me, that conversation was gonna be minimum 30 minutes. From the time we were kids, talking on landlines all the way to more recently where we had to now start doing video calls. I remember our last conversation at the end of July where you shared one of your best stories ever because you were a great storyteller. And the story is about cargo of no value, which we then named CONV. And in the story, essentially what happens is a successful businessman has to repatriate the remains of his son who has just passed away. Now on the inventory note for the plane, it is written there, cargo of no value. Now as disheartening as this is, and this does not take away from the fact that the man's son was successful in his own right, this is how things are done in those situations. We took that in and we took the gravitas of that and we then decided that the next time we speak to each other, if we find ourselves getting too serious, getting too bogged down, we would simply say to each other, C-O-N-V, just to remind us how fleeting life can be. As I sit here now and I reflect, I know with certainty you were cargo of extreme value. Life's accounting does not work the same way it does when you're dealing with freight. It's about memories, shared experiences and connections. And for this and so much more, I thank you. You played your best 90 minutes. Wow. Rest in peace, Moi.